Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our Stone Block 2 Let's Play Adventure of Awesomeness and Fun Times to be had. Now, since the previous episodes have all been recorded, and they were all recorded in sort of one big block, uh, I'm just now finally getting around to releasing the episodes, reading some comments, getting some feedback, and I've gotten a lot of great suggestions that I want to take a look at today. Not all of them. We might save and do another viewer suggested episode around episode 10 or so but today I've got a ton of ideas that I wanted to look at but before we do that some housekeeping I went to the overworld or I guess the mining dimension whatever you want to call it and I did a lot of mining and we have a ton of resources I'm hesitant to cook a lot of this up because you never know when you might need to combine some of this stuff with other things uh, might be better to leave it in its dust form except for the iron there's an awful lot of iron we could probably go ahead and cook that up. That That's not going to hurt anything. And in fact, do we have... Yeah, let's get all of our tiny coal in here. Make sure we have enough to cook all of this up. We might need more tiny coal later. Something else I wanted to take a look at here is, of course, our pet rock died. And we gave it very little fanfare. So I set up a grave. I didn't check to see if we could make an actual grave. Or a tombstone or anything of the like. Let me see. Tombstone? You can't. Well... I, I gave it a sign, Pet Rock, Rip Pet Rock, Episode 1 to 1.5. It had a good life, a good solid life, made it into two videos. Uh, you might have saw there before I cleared the search, though, we can get an order form and we can order a new Pet Rock. So I don't know how this works, but this was recommended to me by a number of people. Uh, chiefly, Germ Silver, thank you so much for recommending this one. A patron supporter, Germ Silver. The catch is that it needs ink, which we don't have, but you can get it from squids. And I know how to get squids pretty easily. You just need a large body of water and some patience. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, real quick note, a lot of people seem to think that I lost my repair talisman. Why? I went back and watched the videos. I can't see the point where people think that I lost it, but I didn't. So <laughs> no worries, friends. No worries. Should we make more? Oh, okay, so we've got regular glass, but do we have any type of glass that will all join together and I mean this is unnecessary but I'm just thinking if we can create some does quartz glass do that that seems a bit aggressive quite clear glass will definitely do the trick but where's original recipe quite clear glass I'm gonna have to click on all of these till I find it pink gray gray sky and purple blue what how do you get just regular oh regular glass inside of an alloy smelter can I build an alloy smelter this is becoming <laughs> Quite the mission today, isn't it? Uh, we could probably build a simple alloy smelter, but I don't think you can cook single items in a simple alloy smelter. I think it only cooks alloys, in which case we'd need to go for the actual proper alloy smelter, which doesn't look all that difficult. Furnaces, cauldrons, we can build those things. Dark bimetal gears requires dark steel nuggets, and I think this is also dark steel, and this is a simple machine chassis and requires an induction smelter. Or an alloy smelter. So we have to have an alloy smelter to get an alloy smelter. Or an induction smelter to get an alloy smelter, honestly. What is this? Dark steel ingots? How do you get dark steel? What's the recipe there? Oh, let me guess. An alloy smelter. You get iron, obsidian, and pulverized coal. We can build one of these. We'll have to start with the simple one, though. I was looking over the ingredients, and I realized we'll need a grain of infinity. These aren't difficult to get. If you're sifting gravel... You'll get some eventually. It's a 2% drop chance, and of course that's multiplied by 7 if you're using a heavy scythe, but it does require that you have a diamond stiffened mesh. Alternatively, we could dig to the bottom of the world, <laughs> catch bedrock on fire, and hope that it spawns a grain of infinity. Now that seems a bit weird. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. And while we'll probably end up just standing around and kind of hoping for the best with sifting... I would like to give this a try because it's just such a weird thing to discover that this method even exists. So I assume you have to do this. It did say overworld only. I don't know if y'all caught that. But uh, my assumption is the reason is if you go to bedrock in any other uh, dimension, it'll just drop you down a level. Fortunately, I do have a ton of ladders from a little side project that I've done that I haven't shown y'all yet. Hee <laughs> hee. Spoiler alert. I, we can just dig straight down. Oh, this is that... This is the bottom of that chamber where all those creepers blew up. I think we can just dig straight down. I don't think that'll be a problem. The only issue is, I know in original recipe stone block, there was no bedrock. And if you just dug straight down, you would die. So, I'm a little nervous. Uh, or maybe there was bedrock, and we just had a mining thing that dug through it in our base. That's a throwback to that episode. 
some of you might not have seen. I'm going to be cautious, though. Once we get a little bit lower, I'm going to widen this thing out a bit. I think once we get to about level 10, because it can vary bedrock. You know, it's not all at the same flat plane, at least not in a usual traditional world. And sometimes some blocks will be up higher than others. And like, I, j I just want to be cautious. All right. Okay, so we're at eight now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen this out on either side and I'm going to put down a torch or two. Oh, I'll put down two for no real reason and immediately break one off the wall. What we're going to do is we're going to dig down sort of a staircase situation like this. And then that way we're never standing on the block being broken. If there's no bedrock down here, it'll be a lesson learned for everyone at home. You'll know not to try this. I'll have saved you all time unless you're also playing the pack and you know better. But uh, Shrek me sideways. I found bedrock. So maybe original stone block also had bedrock. And the reason I never found any is because the only time we went down low enough was that time someone put a uh, mining device in my base. And it, it might have just dug up the... Gosh darn it. You know what? I'll deal with that later. Let's light this on fire and see what happens. Now apparently Grains of Infinity are not fireproof. So it's possible that they will be destroyed in the fire. But it says that they'll last long enough to pick up. Whatever that means. And we could be doing this for a long time. Is that going to burn up the piece of bedrock? It might burn the ladder, now that I think about it. We should widen this tunnel out some. Uh, oh gosh, Shrek me, what just happened? Oh, it worked! Oh, we got a grain of infinity! Okay, good. Why is this stone taking so long to dig out? Is it because I was standing up against the ladder? It must have been. The game considered that being on the ladder. Alright, we can put down a torch here now. And probably throw down a lot. If we tap F7... Yeah, we definitely don't want things spawning down here with us. I want to avoid that. Can I just create a line of fire? Let's see what happens, I guess. Oh, I heard something blow up. Okay, so we've got six, seven of them now. Not bad. I like that it sounds like cannons. Now I will begin the process of trying to dig my way out of here and build the ladder up correctly. Uh, okay, I'm back. I've got my grains of infinity... And I think I've got everything I need inside of my inventory to begin the crafting process. So first things first, stone gear. I think you do need cookstone for that. And we should have made the more than the one because we're going to need two. Next up, we've got to make ourselves a couple of furnaces. And that is cobblestone, naturally. I keep thinking that I should uh, press shift for these recipes. And then I just don't do it. We have a bucket. We'll use the bucket we have. We'll have to make more buckets later. This is going to require some bars, and I think that's everything. I think we're good to go. So there's our simple machine chassis, and uh, what am I missing? Oh, right, whole wrong machine entirely. Simple alloy smelter. Now we just go to hook it up to power, and I don't have any sort of cables to do that, so what we're going to do temporarily is just dig out back here. Actually, probably to right here is fine. We'll just slap this on the back. And reconfigure this bad boy to spit out some power around on the other side. How we doing? We're not getting anything. I think the blue is input. Yellow is what we want. Or orange, I should say. Yeah, there we go. It's all full up now. I'm going to leave F7 on. Just place down some torches make sure we're all safe. So what we needed this bad boy for is creating our dark steel ingots. Which, if we take a flip back through here, we didn't have to use that machine. We could have also built an induction smelter and used pulverized obsidian and steel or steel blend and pulverized obsidian. We could have also done that, but I don't know what goes into making an induction smelter. I'm noticing a stark lack of grains of infinity. Huh. Ah, but you know what? We'd have to get grains of infinity anyway, because what we're trying to build is the alloy smelter to make the quite clear glass. And this is going to require one of these, which requires one of these, which requires some grains of infinity. And what the Shrek me sideways and industrial dye blend. Okay, we have all of these things. Not a problem. All right, before we go any further, let's get some coal. By the way, did I mention I've been doing some mining? I've done a lot of mining. So inside of this bad boy here, we want to pulverize some coal. I assume that's going to give us what we want. Uh, we should check inside of here first. Yep, pulverized coal. Good. So we can combine that with obsidian and iron, and that will start to give us our dark steel, our dark metal. Yeah, dark steel ingots. Uh, I don't know how many we'll need. We'll go ahead and create quite a bit of them, though, or quite a few of them. Quite a bit. You'll notice these creepy faces over here. Yeah, that's just a thing. I, I don't know why that does that. It's, it's unsettling. 
Uh, it makes me feel like I'm entering some sort of nightmare realm. Maybe that's the purpose of it all. But you know what I like is when you look at it, it gives you that percentage up there at the top. That's useful. So you can see how much further you got to go. I, I dig that. Right, so I pulled the obsidian out, and I think it's going to make one more dark steel ingot. But then after that, just the iron and the pulverized coal should create steel, which we're going to need. We're also going to need a simple sag mill. Because I forgot about a particular ingredient in this recipe that I, I just thought that we had and we don't. This is quickly becoming an entire episode all by itself. This weird side episode <laughs> uh, where we're just trying to order a pet rock. And we don't need quite clear glass to do that. But I'll be darned if I'm not going to get quite clear glass. Sag mill, though, is a very simple recipe. Very similar to the alloy smelter. The only difference is it requires a piston and a bunch of flint. This is very, very quickly becoming way more complicated than simply ordering a new pet rock. I've got a simple sag mill up now, and we're going to hook it up to power as soon as we get one more. Let's take all these ingredients out. I don't want it to start. There we go. Get ourselves a steel ingot. We're using the steel ingots to create a basic universal cable, which is a mod that's really cool and works with all or many different types of power and many different types of machine and the recipes are pretty basic and just requires a bit of steel so redstone in the middle steel to either side now these are kind of limited on the amount of power they can move there are better models that you can get if you can get yourself an enriched alloy for example inside of a metallurgic infuser which that doesn't look complicated really we could probably do that maybe not today though because we've already gone so many steps away from what our original intention was for the episode but there you go you can hook them up you see they fill up with green and that's the power and that's cool i don't know if you can build something to let's say disconnect this particular cable from here if you didn't want that connection to be made but i have no problem with that connection being made and in fact we can go in here and just now shut that side off if we wanted to now as for the reason we had to build ourselves a sag mill uh, in order to build the alloy smelter that means we're going to need some industrial dye blend. And I looked at this and said we have everything we need, but I was wrong because I forgot that this is not simply green dye. This is organic green dye. And organic green dye requires that you have clippings and trimmings, which you can get from a sag mill if you sag various different things like leaves. And we have a ton of leaves, so we can put those not inside of there, but definitely inside of here. And if you're wondering where they came from, they come right out of here. Look at this. You can get all kinds of leaves and stuff out of your hopping bonsais. Hopping bonsais are the bee's knees. Look at that. We've already got three clippings and trimmings. Oh, we got four clippings and trimmings. This is spectacular. Just got to keep this thing loaded. I might even slap a hopper on the side here. I don't know why I didn't put a hopper on the top. I don't know why I put a simple alloy smelter on the top. Uh, oh, we can configure it to automatically pull out of uh, inventories adjacent to it. We're not going to because the only inventory adjacent to it is this one. And I don't know what it would do if we put pulverized iron in there. The sag mill is sort of exactly the same as the pulverizer. Uh, the pulverizer you can upgrade. The simple sag mill you cannot. You just have to build a new better one. I think you can use this one in the recipe for the newer better one. And the newer better one, once you get it, you can put things in there that will make it faster. Like, where did they go? I know we have some. We got some as a reward. Where are they, though? I'm not crazy. I'm not a crazy person. I know darn well that I've got some. Ah, oh, right there. Basic capacitors. You can build faster, better capacitors. Sometimes you can get them out of like uh, reward bags and whatnot. But we should have enough clippings and trimmings now. We just got to combine that with a bit of slime. Here's a question, though. Can I use slime to create slime dirt? Yes, a single piece of dirt and a bunch of slime around it will create a green slimy dirt. Then all we'd need is a slimy sapling. I'm not sure how to get those, but if we could get a slimy sapling... That means we could essentially just grow slime on a tree, which would be pretty useful. But I don't know how to get these outside of just monster drops, which is how I've gotten them in the past. And some sort of void botanic miner? What does that mean? It's, it's, all, it's all peculiar to me. I don't understand it. We definitely don't have any right now, unfortunately. Uh, we do have more leaves, though. Look at that. <laughs> how exciting! Alright, we'll take our slime blocks and we will convert those into slime balls. And we're going to stick like three of these over here just for safekeeping if I want to create some slimy dirt later. And in the meantime, we will combine these slimes with our clippings and trimmings. And that should give us the green organic dye we're looking for. And then the next stage is going to be getting the black organic dye. 
which is going to require that we do something different. Uh, pulverized coal with the same thing, I guess, slime or eggs. I don't have eggs, I don't think. All right, pulverized coal and a bit of slime. We don't really need to make that many of these things, do we? How many? Just just the one, surely. Maybe maybe two. Oh, they make two anyway. All right, you know what? Just keep going. Keep doing your thing. While all of this was happening, you'd think I would have been wise enough to come over here and start pulverizing some lapis, but I'm not. I'm not that wise. I think we also have to grind up the nether quartz. I'm at least thinking that's how this is done, so we'll put that in the pulverizer and see if we get the right product. Uh, yeah, nether quartz dust. Got that, got our crushed lapis. Oh my gosh, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost ready to do this ridiculous super extra thing that I've been planning on doing for the entire episode. So we've got our simple machine chassis and we've got our industrial dye blend and then we can bind them together inside of the simple alloy smelter. Where did it go? Organic industrial. There we go. Oh yeah, boy. This is exciting because after that, we'll just need all of these other things like a cauldron, which is not difficult. And then we'll need... A bit of dark steel ingot? How many, though? Um, we're going to need more than that. And that's going to have to go around what type of infinity? Ah, all right. We've got two infinity bimetal gears. We are going to now surround those with dark steel nuggets and get ourselves dark bimetal gears. Two of the darn things. And then we also need a cauldron. Did I already build one of these? I already built one of these. It's just a bunch of iron. And then we're going to need... Three furnaces, my friends. Goodness gracious. At least they're getting some use, you know. Generally, at this point, you're not using furnaces a whole lot in a modded game of uh, of Minecraft. Do we have everything? I think we have everything. We can finally make ourselves an alloy smelter. Wow. Do y'all remember what we did this for? Because <laughs> I do. So <laughs> we built this just to get glass. So we could build a tank to get <laughs> squids. This is unnecessary. We could have just gotten squids with regular... We could have just built a hole in the ground and put water in it. This is... You know what? This is... I, I have no regrets. I have no regrets at all. We'll get our tin glass that we have. We'll throw that in there. Uh, it needs a bit of power. It's already got power plugged into the back. But it's also going to need one of these capacitors. Now, the capacitors, depending on which one you put in there... Uh, they'll change how fast they go, how much power they can store, all of that good stuff. What happens if I put just sand into an alloy smelter? That's my question. Will it create glass or will it jump instantly to quite clear glass? What we can do is we can wait for the quite clear glass to show up. And then, oh, it cooks three items at a time. I don't know if you noticed that. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, let's check our recipe, though. No, it doesn't show that sand will become quite clear glass. That's fine. We'll just take the sand that we have. Literally all of it. Why not? We'll throw it in here. Ah, you know what? Let's split the difference. We'll throw some of it in here. And that way it'll cook up a bit quicker. Uh, that's going to give us some quite clear glass, though. I don't know if y'all saw, but we can combine that with the glowstone and get glass that actually glows. Which is, which is really cool, but we have no glowstone, so we're not going to do that. Now I have to sell you all on the quite clear glass. I have to make you think that this was a worthwhile investment. So, look at that. They combine together and they're clear on the inside. How great is that? That's pretty cool. And then you can break them and pick them back up, unlike regular glass. How, how nifty, everyone. Aren't you, all, aren't you all excited by this? How cool is this? Very good investment. Am I right, everyone? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, okay. I'm just going to build the darn tank, and then you'll see. You all see! All right, well, that looks rather artistic to me. Uh, it's a lot of quite clear glass, and now we just got to fill it up, so I'm going to need to make another bucket. But, hey, as is life. And, in fact, I might make more than one bucket. That'll make this whole process a lot faster. All right, so filling this up should just be a matter of putting those two like that, and then putting one here. Okay. And then we just do the exact same thing. But on the next level, ugh, and now we just sort of leave it alone. And if it works the way it should, we should get squid spawning. Although now that I think about it, a lot of things are different in this mod pack. A lot of things have been changed. And this might be one of them. I've just gone through the effort of building a tank without even verifying whether or not we can get squids like this. How does one get squid? Can we just type in squid? Will it tell me? Maybe we have to leave the room. Maybe they won't spawn with me watching. 
And we gotta go like far away, like way the heck down here to the bottom of the world. And then that way they'll start to feel more comfortable. Because you know how squids can be. Oh, we should have just built the tank down here. Nothing else going on down here. It's got a nice floor too. It kind of matches the squid's dark exterior. They might be into that sort of thing. I don't know. I've never been a squid before. Oh, you know what we could do is I could go to the mining dimension and show you what I did there. Because as I understand it, digging all the way to the top of the mining dimension. Check this out, by the way. We launch. Oh, it's so good. You just launch off the top of that ladder. Uh, apparently, there's another dimension on top of this one, and I don't know what it is because I didn't go into it yet, but I did build a ladder almost all the way to the top, and this one is equally as tall as the last one, but I was very cautious up the top to not go through it, and right now I'm thinking, hey, hey, should we? Well, I tried to hit shift to avoid doing this, but then I accidentally did it, so I guess we're going to whatever's next. The end, but not really. I didn't even know that was a quest we had to do. Oh, we've completed two quests. What have we done? Oh, we've gotten some prosperity shards. I don't remember doing that. I must have mined them up somewhere. Are you joking with me right now? Is this... Is this a gag of some kind? Seriously? <laughs> a simple Zagville? For real? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling vaguely outraged at the moment. What's this going to give me? An alloy smelter? No, a couple of mechanical crafters. Well, I guess I can't be mad. How do I get back out of this? Is it the same situation? Just dig straight down? Uh, should we dig out a bit, though? We got endstone. If we have any recipes that need endstone, we've done that at least. Uh, let's also dig out this direction. And maybe down, so we'll have a way back out. So we should be able to just drop through there and it should take us back to where we were never gonna be able to pick those blocks up now is there anything out there is there is there a dragon or anything like that i'm not even i'm not even sure what happens if you just dig straight up this seems like a bad idea what if end lava falls down on us uh is that a thing i, I feel like i just made that up well there you go i guess we'll go back now uh and see if we have any squids because that should have stayed loaded oh of course it's gonna take us back here first where the heck am i Oh, so the overworld should still be loaded. Remember, we have those chunks loaded. So it's possible that maybe now we have squids, and we'll find out once we get down here. My gosh, this is quite a journey, though. Every single time I have to take this journey. It's a lot faster going up. I should have dug this out too, by, like, too wide, and then I could have just thrown myself off the edge and landed in, I don't know, like a pool of water or something. We still don't have any squids. Okay. This might have been a mistake. We might have we might have made a boo-boo. You know, maybe we have to go a certain distance away from it in terms of chunks. Maybe we just have to dig like in here and then go go very far away for a while. And maybe then when we come back, we might have made a mistake, everyone. This might have been a waste of time. An ink black chicken will sometimes lay an ink sack. And that might be what we have to do but we have to have an egg for that I don't know how to get an egg just a basic egg we need a chicken we need bait bait first things first we've got to get dirt because we're gonna need grass seeds I've decided to do this this is happening now so we should have like a seven or eight percent chance right now of getting grass seeds in fact there's one right there if I'm not mistaken so what we can do is oh my gosh we've got a ton of seeds and some mineral saplings I didn't know that we had that mod. That is exciting. Uh, let's put all of this stuff inside of here for right now, including the compressed dirt, because why not? And then we'll get our grass seeds out. I will get these stones out, because they definitely don't belong inside of here. Give me one of those mineral saplings. I know I'm going to go do something with that right now. I like this mod, and I'm going to use this mod. I don't know how to swap out the trees inside of the bonsai pots outside of just completely smashing the bonsai pots. And putting them back down. So excuse me while I do that. But the mineral sapling is from the integrated dynamics mod. And is absolutely necessary. If you want to do anything with the integrated dynamics mod. Which we, we do. We will in the future. In the meantime let's get some more dirt. I got all that from the mining dimension by the way. There's a ton of dirt in there. Go figure. And uh, we're going to I guess down this random passageway that I've now dug. Throw down some dirt. And we're going to plant our seeds in the dirt. Where'd they go? Grass seeds, like so. Plop, plop. 
Next up, we get some seeds and we put them together. Two seeds like so will give us some chicken bait. We're going to get a couple of chicken baits. And then I think we need water too because animals, as I have been told, and I can't individually confirm this, but <laughs> I have it on good authority that animals like to drink water. So we're going to put some water down right there. And then we should be able to put down, uh, place more blocks from the animal's biome here. Okay, we'll do that. I think what it wants is it wants more grass. And we can do that very quickly by making a watering can, which is just going to require a bit of iron, if I'm not mistaken, and apparently some bone mill and a water bucket. Okay, recipe like so. And does it come with water in it or do we need to fill it up? It's got some water in it. Uh, it's just a matter of standing right here, holding down the right click, and boom, look at that. Grass is spreading, and once we have enough grass, yeah, look at that. The bait will work in this environment and move out of range so you don't scare the animals away. Before we do that, let's make sure that they can't escape by putting up a nice barrier. There we go. I suppose we could build a real barrier. We could just build a fence. It's just sticks. We probably have some in here. Uh, like, yeah, right there. Oh, look at that. Got a chicken. Okay. I'm going to put our fence right here. And then we're going to turn all of this into grass as well. Blood Elf and uh, Germ Silver will be so excited about this. They've been wanting me to get involved with the Chickens mod for so long on so many different series. And I'm finally doing it. Specifically because I've gone all through this effort to get ink. And it's, it's all failed me. Now we just got to wait for that seed to pop. And we should have a couple of chickens. I don't know how many animals you can have in one area before the... Uh, bait will stop working because apparently animals get nervous and they'll think something's up if you put down bait when there's already other animals nearby. Let me give you an example. So if we threw this down like right here. I don't know. Yeah, we're good. But maybe after another animal hatches though, we won't be so good. So we'll just move out of range and we'll wait. Hey, we got a couple of chickens now and this one is still good. So theoretically it might still hatch. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment, though, to... Ooh, wait. We want to be careful doing that. I was about to ore mine out all of these, and I realize now that that might have been a bad idea. Okay, so we'll fence them off over here. I know that chickens can sometimes get over fences, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just waiting on them to lay an egg at this point. That's that's sort of my... I don't know how long it takes for an egg to be laid. Can we find out? If we just type in egg, and then we go to egg, and then we go to like... Okay, if they had a nesting pen, and we had a smart chicken... Which, I don't know. It looks like he's off to college. It's not really giving me estimates. Hey, no, you need to go back in there, you. Dadgummit, how did you even get out? You gotta go back. You gotta go back in there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to let you out just then. I should have had a double fence sort of thing set up. This is a mistake. You gotta go back. There. Please, please. Th there we go. Thank you. What is this? Manure? Manure? You're supposed to be dropping eggs. I've decided that we're going to while away the hours converting this simple sag mill into the upgraded sag mill, and then we'll have a simple and upgraded version of both the alloy smelter and the sag mill. Because why not? What is life at this point? Hey, we finally have an egg! Thank goodness gracious me. We'll get around to that in just a second. Okay, that's everything we need. We're going to use that extra sag mill we got as a reward. Now, why have a regular sag mill? and the upgraded model. That's the question many of you are going to be asking. And the answer is, there is no reason. No reason whatsoever. I've just decided to do it. And there we go. Okay, so egg surrounded with organic black powder will give us a ink black chicken egg. Throw it to have a chance to spawn the chicken. A chance, you say? Oh ho, what else can I do with it? Is there any other alternatives? Uses. Uh... Color egg throwing? What? Do you just mean throw it on the ground? What's the, what's the chance? What's the likelihood? What are the odds? There's apparently no other way to do this other than just take a risk, chunk it on the ground, and hope for the best, which is, I guess, what we're going to do. Well, thank goodness. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Uh, I guess we just wait for it to grow now, and it'll start spitting out, spitting out ink. What has this episode been? What have I done? How was this episode 5? We didn't get to any user suggestions. The suggestion was to build an order form for another pet rock. We haven't done that, though. 
We went on this journey to get ink for the order form that involved getting quite clear glass, which involved building an alloy smelter, which involved building a sag mill, all of which failed and ended up with us creating chickens. I don't know what to do with these things. What happens if I breed the ink one with the regular one? I am I'm at a loss, and all I can say is at least we got a mineral sapling, because look at the mineral collection we're getting. And we got, I guess, you know what? We did get all of these machines, and we did get these universal cables. So all in all, not a terrible episode. But how is this going to edit together? What are the comments going to be? All right, well, I guess I'll see you all next time for a user-recommended episode where I'll actually go through the other 99 suggestions, tips, and tricks that I received. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye.